Hello there, this is Will from Travel with Will and today we're in Gordon, which is a, one of the plus beau villages in France and I wanted to start here, just A, that town looks pretty cool down there and B, you see the windy road here? I drove from grass to here and it was really cool driving down there See, so I'm actually running low on battery so we're going to have to r rush around but it's a very small village anyway and I've been here literally for three minutes. I've heard Russian, Spanish, English, American and English accents. I'm just gonna have a look at the view. So this morning I actually started down there on the coast and I've just worked my way up. I like to get about when I go on holiday. I don't like to stay in one fixed location. But yeah, this is very pretty. I have been here before, but it was a while ago. Well, there's a paragliders up there. Can you see those? If anyone wants to see me paraglide, by the way, I'd, I'd be happy to do it in uh, Switzerland, where I think the safety <laughs> would be better. No, that's a joke. But yes, please like, comment, subscribe. There'll be more of France and a lot more of Geneva, obviously. I think these are Airbnbs. So if you're into Airbnb, you should come check this town out. So I'll just turn you around a bit. So it's very small. I think it's actually smaller than Ivoire in Haute Savoie. It's got loads of little pretty boutiques. It's basically a, a nice place to come for lunch on the way to somewhere else. That's what I call these towns. There's a nice little cubby hole there actually. It's very pretty. I think we'll go this way and then end down there actually. See if you've got this here as well. Loads of local produce. Yeah, it's just a, I thought, I saw the sign and I thought, why not? We'll have a look. We'll have a nosy round. Oh, it's very pretty. I just love these old French towns. Look at these fiddlers. I think we'll... Let's have a look up here, it looks nice, doesn't it? And in France, the tourism is extremely well organized. So they'll have um, the signs of what each thing is basically. So if it's uh, UNESCO or um, Monument of History, they're very well organized, the French tourism industry. Oh, I love it around here. funny because when I come to these towns I never really know what to expect but I suppose we come for these little bits of beauty like this is this the back alley there you go you see there's always a back alley we found it in this place so I guess if we go this way it's like a circle Yep, so we started down there. So we don't want to go back. Obviously there's lots of lavender here. So we don't want to go back there. So we want to go this way. Should we actually find out how much some of this lavender actually is? So a bag of local lavender is five euros. 
five euros. And let's see how much an ice cream is. Might as well compare the prices if we can find one. I should imagine there's one down here. There's the local syrups. euros for one of those that's expensive it's more expensive than in Geneva or Bern remember the market in Bern those two young lads who had their own syrup business they I think they were charging 16 francs so we've come back round again we've made it a full circle and we'll end with the view down there so the price of a pint of lager is nine euros and a pancake with sugar and lemon is three euros so if you want to have a pint here it's going to cost you more than in Geneva which is surprising and we'll end down here ah the ice cream I told you So the small is 270, the two scoops is 420, and the three scoops is 520. So it's all similar prices in the region. And we've got these here. It's all pretty similar, isn't it? Oh, this way looks nicer to me. And we are about to run out of battery, so if we die, we'd see you in the next video. I think we'll make it to the view. Let's see. <laughs> this is, right, here we go. We'll end it here. So sorry, short but sweet. You pretty much saw everything. I hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video.